What's up my peeps, the only supercar player to have ranked number one in every single PCC under different usernames since the mode got introduced, checking in with another video. And uh, yeah, there's a King of the Ring going on here, it's not a subscriber's King of the Ring, so don't worry, you didn't miss out on anything. Sometimes, I do go ahead and join some random King of the Rings, and sometimes, just like last time, uh, I end up making mistakes and end up losing the matches, so I lost this one too. This video isn't about the King of the Ring though. I will post up the video probably today, probably the same time that I posted up this video showing you guys my rewards out of this. And by the way, Cody uh, might just be watching this video because he, he said he watches the videos in the uh, game chat. So anyways, what I'm here to talk about is the PCC and also the team event. First off, let's go ahead with the PCC. So it's Brett versus Ric Flair. So when I initially saw uh, Bret Hart and Ric Flair in the main menu screen, I'm like, all right, Bret's going to win. And I'm not the only one that thought that. You know, people tweeted me saying that they're going to go for Bret and that they think Bret is going to win. And I thought so too. But then I went ahead and actually looked at the rewards. And uh, initially I was like, hey, I still think Bret's going to win. I mean, look at this. Bret uh, under Brett is John Cena. So John Cena is the normal survivor card that you can get if you go on the Brett side, if the Brett side wins. And then on the Flair side, you get Sting. Now, first off, let's go ahead and check out the Bret Hart card. Uh, he beats Ric Flair when it comes to toughness and when it comes to, uh, what was it? It wasn't charisma. <laughs> oh, it was speed. Yeah, so toughness and speed and Ric Flair beats him in power and charisma woo nature boy so john cena uh compared to sting i'm assuming john cena beats him when it comes to power toughness and charisma maybe or just power and toughness let's see um so definitely power charisma he's got 680 john cena's got yeah he, so he beats him in charisma too and uh he beats him in toughness too so i was right i in speed whoa 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 wait just a moment here you're telling me John Cena beats Sting in every single one of those stats? Are Sting's stats based on the current Sting? Or... Because, I mean, if we're looking at the picture, this definitely isn't the current Sting. So why is this Sting... Or why does this Sting have lower speed than John Cena? I don't know. I feel like Sting should have higher speed than John Cena. Uh, let's go ahead and move on, man. These support cards. I wish I could get these support cards. I mean, if I play the ton, sure, I could maybe get there. Uh, but the highest I've ever gotten in the PCC is around here. Although the rankings were a bit different before. And I remember it was the Randy versus Jericho PCC. Which I'm still surprised to this day that Randy won that. I guess it was because of the undercard, the rest of the cards, and not because of Randy. Uh, because I just thought Jericho would win over Randy, like more people would prefer or would go for Jericho over Randy, but whatever, that's in season one. So yeah, rank 76 to 200, whatever, you get an enhancement. Uh, not a big fan of the enhancements, because it's, it's temporary. It's something you're going to use, and after a couple matches, it, it's gone, it's no longer there. And so, um... Uh, Back to what I was talking about when I was like, hey, I think Brett's going to win. So, so far, things are on Brett's side. I mean, uh, it's Brett over Ric Flair. Brett is the face here. And also, on top of that, he has the John Cena card under him. And Ric Flair has the Sting card, which is weaker than John Cena in every single stat. But then you go to the legendary card, and this is probably what most people will get, or at least not not what most people will get, but uh, more people will go and get the legendary card over like the no normal survivors or the event cards. And so, for Brett, you've got Mark Henry, the worst, and I mean the worst, really. Like, there's no actually, you know what? Hold on a second. No, I take that back. Mark Henry's not the worst. Legendary card. He's like the second worst or something like that. Mark Henry's the worst survivor card. I think tied with Alicia Fox or something. I don't know. But anyways, I know Mark Henry's the worst survivor. As far as legendary goes, I think it's Jack Swagger. And then on Rick Flair's side, it's Triple H. So not only is the Triple H card, of course, better than the Mark Henry card, but let's not forget, guys, the daily login bonus for this month is Triple H. So, everybody that logs in at least 28 days out of this month will get Triple H. And so, 
uh, you know there's going to be a lot of people wanting that pro triple h and they just gave the opportunity for everybody to get a pro triple h this month and so that's why i don't think it's as simple as hey you know the event card on brett's side it's a face and also he's got john cena which is better than the sting card because the legendary thing man that complicates things here so i don't know if brett wins or rick flair wins i'm gonna go for bret hart you know why i'm gonna go for bret hart try and take a guess in the comment section i just want to know how good your memory is if you've watched these videos before or some of my supercard videos why would i want to go for bret hart let me know in the comments i'll tell you guys in just a few moments uh, in the meanwhile, let's just look at the other rewards. So, uh, right here are some support cards. I could actually use a support card, support card like this just because I like these support cards. The plus whatever to, to the entire deck. Whether it's this one or this one, doesn't matter. And then enhancements here, and then just the event cards. And then John Cena and an enhancement card. And then John Cena alone, and then Mark Henry alone. And then Daniel Bryan and Mark Henry. Uh, that's another opportunity, though, for, for a pro so you've also got to think about that too you know thinking about it um you can get daniel bryan and if people got daniel bryan from the road to glory then i'm thinking also there's going to be a bunch of people going for the bret hart side to get daniel bryan so yeah there's a bunch of different reasons why you'd want to go for flair and why you'd want to go for john cena i'm curious to see who gets this one i don't think that this event is going to be a landslide like i don't think it's going to be a big difference whoever takes this one I do think it's going to be like a pretty close PCC um, between Flair and Bret Hart. Anyways, yeah, and that's the rest of the rewards right there. So anyways, I think I've given you guys enough time to try and figure out why I go for Bret Hart. So the reason why I want to go for Bret Hart is not for Bret Hart the card himself. Because for me to get a pro of the event Bret Hart card I'd have to get him from the road to glory and uh, right now I think I'm gonna start going for the event cards starting the next ring domination if I'm if I'm at the survivor tier in that ring domination um, and so I don't think I'm gonna go for the event card the reason why I, I want to go for Bret Hart is this card right here John Cena uh, if you guys remember I got John Cena from it wasn't the last PCC what was the last PCC Kalisto um, no, it wasn't Kaliso. It was Jericho. It wasn't, no, it wasn't that one. It was the one, what did I get in the Jericho PCC? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I think it was Brooker T. Anyways, the PCC before that, I think John Cena was one of the, uh, the cards there. I got John Cena, and now there's another opportunity. This is my opportunity to get my first Survivor Pro, so I'm definitely going for this. Yeah, I could possibly pro Bret Hart if I get him from the Road to Glory, but that's if I get him from the Road to Glory, and I'd have to, you know, use a bunch of credits for that. I'd rather go for John Cena because I've already got one. And it's, it's just a guaranteed pro right there. I don't have to go ahead and worry about the next event and grinding for that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the PCC. Let me know who you are going to go for. I'd like to get an idea on where you guys stand on where the majority stands. Now, of course, not everybody that plays this game is going to watch the video. But I'd like to know, are you guys going to go for Brett or are you going to go for Ric Flair? And let me know why, too. So anyways, PCC aside, um, let's... How about the King of the Ring? I just want to know if, okay, in six minutes, I'll be able to show you guys the rewards. Of course, that'll be a separate video um, for that. So anyways, when it comes to the team event, this time, I didn't forget to record before the team event was over. So, as you can see, we got Bray Wyatt. If you follow me on Twitter, I posted a pic once we got him. And uh, the background was, like, red. So somebody said um, that maybe it was, like, Photoshop. He thought, because last time I did trick you guys, so, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, I guess, out of the realm of possibility of whatever that I try and trick you again. But no, you know, we actually did get him. The reason why the background was red is for some reason on my other phone, it, it's red. I, I don't know why, but also on my other phone, sometimes when I play the cards, you guys see the backgrounds on the cards? Like you see Bray Wyatt has like some fire behind him and Bre uh, Brie Bell has like this, I don't know, legendary background and Daniel Bryan has like this epic background. I don't know what to call it. Uh, basically, sometimes on my other phone, the backgrounds are just plain black. So 
I guess, you know, it's something to do with the last update or something. The last update, you know, or actually the one before that, you know, brought the lag. And I think it brought, you know, some issues too in some clones. So hopefully the next update fixes a bunch of these issues. But yeah, we got Bray with a couple of hours to spare. I think we had like four hours and something minutes uh, left. And as far as the team points breakdown, first off, the number one Team Deagle once again is the original Team Deagle. And in the top spot is Hoagie. Hoagie just always manages to, to be in the top spot. Last time I was in the top spot, but the team wrote to Glory before that, he was in the top spot. And this time he reclaims his top spot. He's at the top once again with 622 points. And that number two, I'm here with 500 points. Um, I could have gotten a couple more points, like maybe 504 or no, actually like 502 or something like that. Uh, but towards the end there, I was like, you know what? I like this nice clean 500. <laughs> so I'll just keep it at that and I'll let you guys get the rest of the points and, you know, finish off the Bray Wyatt card. And uh, then we've got D-Field, who also is always at the top when it comes to the road to glory so he's a good player when it comes to the road to glory uh, with 444 points and then at number four we've got uh aza 19 with 406 points and then right under him is bexplex with 386 points for a total of 3336 points which is i believe one point is it i think it's one point over the um required amount to get bray white but then i look at team deagle x's points and they've got 3306 points but yet they still got bray white so i'm like wait a minute how this like i don't understand because once you get bray white you can't get any more points so i don't know something is probably messed up with either team deagle's points or uh team deagle x I don't know. But anyways, we both got Bray Wyatt once again. Congratulations to Team Deagle X for, you know, apart from the original Team Deagle, being the top Team Deagle out there. Number one once again. And once again, D-Ray is number one in the team with 612 points. And then at number two is Dennis with 439 points. And then at number three, Raheel, who, as you can see, switched his avatar right away to the Bray Wyatt one uh, with 371 points. And then Justin uh, with 366 and Jerry with 320. Speaking of Jerry, he also switched, by the way, his avatar to Bray, but that's not what I want to talk about. He actually pulled Bray Wyatt's uh, I think like right before the event started or even during the event and I'm talking about Survivor Bray Wyatt Actually, yeah, it was his freebie. It was the Survivor freebie that he got so he got that right in time and that that's amazing luck So now he got his Survivor freebie. He got the Survivor Bray Wyatt and he's got his first uh, Survivor Pro so congrats to you Jerry. That's that's really good luck so I'll go ahead and exclude Team Deagle here from, I guess, the rankings uh, just so I could go ahead and showcase three Team Deagles. So coming in at number two is Team Deagle 3, and I believe this is the second time that Team Deagle 3 makes it at number two. And this is also the second time that they were close. They came close to getting Bray. They, they got into Bray, but they didn't get the Survivor card. Close but not close enough, or, or maybe, uh, what was the other expression, man, I forgot it, what was it, like, far, but too far, no, close, but yeah, far, shit, I forgot, anyways, so, at number one is the owner, super bad 69ers, with 427 points, and then at number two, Alex Oz 56, who is, uh, the same guy that beat me in that last, King of the Ring, um, not the one that I'm posting up along with this video, but the one before that, uh, with 390 points. And then at number three is Gyro uh, with 333 points. And then at number four is Beast Boy 484. Uh, I don't know why that username reminds me of um, 
the Transformers Beast Toys? No, it wasn't Beast Toys. Beast Toys is something else. Uh, Beast Wars? No. Yo, the, the Transformers series, animated series, the cartoon, where there were actual, they were actually animals and not cars. And they transform. Anyways, I forgot. Uh, 310 points. And then Philip, uh, I'm not going to attempt to say your last name because I might mess it up. So, hey, I'll just say Philip with 302 points. And, hey, man, Team Eagle 3, you guys, you, you can get that Survivor card. Keep on working on your decks, improving your decks. And, you know, when you reach that wall, keep on going. Um, hopefully next time, the next Road to Glory, you guys can also get that Survivor cards. So, coming in at number three. Try and guess who it is. So, it's number two was Team Eagle 3, right? And then number three is two. Team Eagle 2. So, Team Eagle 2 coming in at number three. And I also think this is the second time this happens. Pretty much, these rankings are the exact same as the last time, I think. I might be wrong, but I, I, I think I'm right, though. Anyways, the number one ranked person on the team is Roman Reigns. And I'm impressed by Roman Reigns because this is actually his first event in uh, TD2. So he's one of the newest members, along with number two, Gonk. I hope I'm saying this right. Gonkas, who got 405 points. Both new members to TD2, both making a really good impression of uh, their first, you know, event in TD2 because they're the top two guys on the team on this event. And then at number three is Nick with 376 points, number four, Benjamin with 302, and number five, LP Fear with 270 points. Now, TD2 did this with a member that got zero points and a member that got less than 100 points. So, imagine what they could do uh, with two new members that can get over 200 points. So, if you want to join TD2, then you can go ahead and send your application, send their screenshots of like your deck and how many points you got in a Road to Glory or whatever to the leader's Twitter, to LP, Feels, uh, to LP Fear's Twitter. I'll post the link to his Twitter in the description box. That's where you can send your screenshots. Once again, they got to the top three spots with two members that got less than 100 points. One of them getting zero points. So imagine what they could do with, you know, two members that can get over 200 points. So if you think you can do that and you're around the same tier, go ahead and apply. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, actually, one last thing, guys. Um, a couple people like on Twitter said that they reached the wall here or there and it seemed like they gave up once they reached that wall uh, But the thing is man if you give up once you reach the wall It's gonna take you a long time to get something worthwhile out of the road to glory Yeah, I know it gets a lot slower moving from the plus fives to the plus ones But once you get that prize, it's gonna help out your entire team. It's gonna boost up your tier. So next time in the team road to glory, it's gonna be easier and you guys are gonna reach the wall later. So that's pretty much it. Once you reach that wall, guys, keep on going because behind that wall is the gold sucker Hulk Hogan. We coming for you.